I just want to do a, a video here on the brackets and rod assembly for moving the coordinate system. So let's start with uh, creating a new assembly. I already have the bracket and the rod open. I've downloaded those parts. So I am going to create an assembly here. Okay, and I already have my bracket and my rod. So I'm going to start with my bracket. I'm just going to click in here. And I'm also going to uh, bring in the rod. Pop that fella in here. Now, I intentionally uh, clicked using the mouse so that I controlled where the part was. Uh, a couple of things we got to take a look at here. Uh, the first is uh, this part. So as I select on the bracket and I right click, I notice that it says float here. Okay, that means that that part is located in its current location. Uh, and one of the first things we have to do is locate the origin. Uh, so I have the origin of the assembly, you can see by the blue dot. And if I go to the bracket and select on the bracket and select on its origin, we can see that the origin of that part is in the midpoint of the back. Uh, so according to the drawing uh, that we're working with, we are going to create uh, the this front corner here and this point to be coincided. So in order to do that, I got to select on the bracket, right click and make sure I hit float. And by hitting float, now I can move it around. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the origin. I'm going to select that. I'm going to hit control and I'm going to hit the second or the, the part origin. And then it's going to give me the object to made it and coincide them. So once I do that, oh, that's not really what I want to do. So let's undo that. Um, what I really want to do is this front point. So let's go with the origin. And I'm going to hit control and I'm going to hit that front point. And I'll coincide those. Now it's where I want it to be. Um, just a simple assembly trick that maybe some of you didn't know. Um, if I just hit and hold uh, the control button, I can click on a part and I can just drag it and I can duplicate it as many times as I need to. Uh, so I'm going to quickly go through and mate these parts here real quick. Oops, didn't want to do that. And I'm going to mate that surface and that surface. And I'm going to mate this surface to this surface. I know that that distance is supposed to be A and then this problem A is 30. And I'm going to mate that surface with that interior surface. And I know that this surface from here to here, I want to be at a distance. And I believe it's B and B is 50. And I'm going to insert that part into there. And I'm going to say, OK, I'm just going to slide this around a little bit. Uh, and then I'm going to add another constraint between the surface and this surface. And that distance I know is C, and C says it's at 100. Just double check my part here. Oops, let's get out of. Got that fixed, so I don't want that to move. So I went back in and fixed it. Um, now what I'm going to do is I have to get an angle between these two surfaces. So let's make those surface one, surface two. And I'm going to say that that is an angle. And it can't be 30 because if I go 30, and that's what it calls for. I'm sorry, 60, not 30. If I say 60 degrees, and like that doesn't look right, I flip it. That doesn't look right. So let's try 130. And 130 looks pretty close to what I'm looking at. So I want that to be at 130. Now I hit OK. So I have my part oriented and constrained. Now I can go to my uh, evaluation tool, my properties, and I can see I have my X, Y, and Z, which is my center of mass. Now my volume is wrong because I didn't change the part uh, material. But in the second uh, problem, it says to uh, move the, and I'll bring that over here. In the second problem, it says to 
move our coordinate system from this front corner to the back corner. Again, that's not too hard to do. Oops, let's get uh, this odd works back up here. There we go. And uh, let's get the assembly back up. There we go. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my origin and I'm going to move my origin. So I'm going to click this origin guy and I'm going to say coincide those. Oh, and it doesn't like that because I created a mate. So let's go back to our original mate and let's delete it. And now I can, I'm getting a confirm delete command. Yes. So now what I want to do is go back to my origin and I want this back corner and I want to coincide those. Add this mate. Oh, what I do. Okay, I figured out what I did. Um, took me a second here to realize. Uh, a couple of things I have to do. Uh, first, I'm going to edit my part here, and I'm not. When I'm, I, I just switched it from fix to float. Um, I'm going to right-click and delete that origin so I can move it. So if I look at my origin, there's my original origin. Now I can click and hold. Click my second origin. Now I can coincide those two. Now it has changed. Now when I go to my evaluate my mass properties, I can see my numbers have now changed based on the new orientation of my X, Y, Z. So that's how you change your coordinate uh, locations for assemblies.